Breast cancer continues to remain the most common cancer diagnosed in women in the United States and is the second leading cause of cancer death in women. The current lifetime risk of a woman developing breast cancer is 1 in 8 or 12.3 percent. Several breast cancer risk factors have been identified over the years. Some of them are modifiable while others are not. The objective of this review is to summarize the various strategies directed at reducing the risk of breast cancer, which often entails an integrative approach involving identification of high-risk women, effective screening methods, as well as nutritional, pharmacologic, and surgical management. Several risk assessment tools, the most common being the Gale model, can help clinicians determine the quantitative risk of breast cancer. The role of selective estrogen receptor modulator, tamoxifen, as a chemopreventive agent was established by several clinical trials, such as the NSABP P1 trial. Subsequently, raloxifene also emerged as an option to tamoxifen with a similar reduction in the incidence of breast cancer reported in the STAR trial. Currently in the United States, tamoxifen and raloxifene are FDA approved for this indication. More recently, aromatase inhibitors such as exemestine and anastrozole were shown to reduce the incidence of breast cancer in the MAP3 and IBIS2 trials, respectively, and may serve as an alternative to the selective estrogen receptor modulators with a relatively favorable side effect profile. The potential adverse effects of these chemopreventive agents, such as endometrial hyperplasia and thromboembolic disease with tamoxifen, or arthralgias, hot flashes, and osteoporosis with aromatase inhibitors must be discussed with the patient before deciding on this approach. It is estimated that over 2 million women in the United States could benefit from chemoprevention to reduce the risk of breast cancer. However, in reality, its use is rather limited. Possible explanations for this include difficulty in identifying the ideal candidates for this approach, decreased awareness amongst healthcare providers and high-risk women, and concerns about the potential adverse effects in the absence of a diagnosed cancer. Identifying the optimal candidates for chemoprevention strategies continues to be challenging as the existing breast cancer risk assessment models do not incorporate all known risk factors for breast cancer, and there is a significant variability in the overall design, endpoints, and inclusion criteria across clinical trials. Although there is no conclusive evidence to suggest the protective role of specific dietary components, alcohol consumption, and obesity are associated with an increased breast cancer risk. Thus, lifestyle changes can lead to a lower risk of developing breast cancer. Surgical approaches including bilateral risk reduction mastectomy and salping or are usually limited to women with a hereditary predisposition to developing breast cancer.